Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future, the game. Last time we managed to get this <clears throat> spray, spray bottle right here, but we need to have Doc use it. I mean, use it. Have it uh, place it in the DeLorean and have, Deck, and have Doc use the DeLorean. However, the DeLorean is not working. So, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I know! I can't do it too. Put the Gleasoner in the DeLorean and tell Citizen Brown it's time for another test. I can't do so. I can't. The light's not green yet. There's no green light. Nope. No green. No green light yet. Let's put the spray bottle in. That doesn't change anything. Look. Boop. No green light yet. And if what I talk to him, doing with the DeLorean. Exactly, but if I talk it's to him, when tragedy entered my young life. Hey, Carl. I'm sorry. See, if I talk to him, he's not gonna tell me. See, I can't say the light's green. Come on. Let's not. Let's talk about, about him. Ed. Let's talk about uh, something. Sure, but. Um, are you starting to like her again? She isn't starting to get under your skin, is she? Heavens no. The memory of her older self wheeling me into the reconditioning chamber is just too strong. The younger version is decidedly more attractive, though. Mm, what are you guys talking about? What are you two talking about, anyway? It's a private matter. I promised I'd keep it between us. For the present. Uh, anything about her? Have you found out anything that can help me? Only that she's stubborn, argumentative, and completely convinced of her own moral superiority. Great, thanks, Doc. That really helps. Uh, speaking on of another lot. subject. What's this expo all about? Dad never told me about a Hill Valley Expo. It was Mayor Thomas's idea. He had visions of Hill Valley becoming a magnet for big investors in the technology sector. But the adventure followed after the third year when the influenza exhibit leaked into the concession stand. Oh. Hmm. How can I make the light green, though? How can I make the light green? How about instead of doing that, we go back to Pandas Lab and see what we can do more stuff. How's it Why we kill here? some time? Great. I'm almost ready to go. No, I need to do that. Wow. That's impossible. That's like impossible. I can't do that. And there's nothing here there's nothing else to do here since he took the memory in the memory. The mine cards. The mind maps. He took them, so I can't do anything in here. I can't do anything. The cleanser shower doesn't. So after 12 hours, your cleanser just kind of turns into battery acid. Battery acid? Don't be ridiculous. It merely turns into a brew of cloth, destroying enzymes capable of rotting away any fabric almost instantly. <laughs> battery acid, really? I want to say. I can't do anything. I'm stuck. I'm officially stuck here. I'm officially stuck. Officially stuck. Can't do anything. Whatever I do is wrong. Can't do anything. Nope. No green. No green light yet. Exactly. Can't do anything. The cleanser supply bottle is there. I can just I can pick it up, but that's what not gonna work. What's doing with the DeLorean? Yeah, he just says that, but I can't do anything about it. I can talk to Artie though. Maybe kill some time with him. Hi. Right. Hey Artie. How's it going? Hey Mr. G Man. How's the, uh, undercover operation? If everything goes as planned, we should be wrapping things up real soon now. Well, when it's time for me to play my part, just say the word. Sure, uh, so you're the register guy. So you're the registration guy for the expo? And chief accountant and paymaster. Hey, you're coming up in the world. And none of it would have happened if I hadn't responded to that subpoena. Uh, you met Sylvia. You haven't met Grand... I mean, Sylvia yet, have you? My contact person? Not yet. Is he or she at the expo? I don't think so, and I'm pretty sure it'll be a she. Uh, keep an eye out for Sylvia. Keep your eyes open for Sylvia. What should I do when I meet her? Just let nature take its course. Uh, Trixie sure looks nice. I like Trixie's new outfit. Cost the expo $14.89, but it was worth every penny. After all, she's the public face of the expo. 
Techni, muse of progress. Hmm. How's life without Kid? I don't suppose you miss working for Kid Tannen. No Surrey Bob. I don't know how I ever got mixed up with an abusive, gun-toting thug like that. He even stiffed me on overtime pay. How's the expo doing? Think the Hill Valley Expo will be a success? I don't see why not. Why shouldn't California have its own high technology center? Hmm. Right. Good. Keep doing what you're doing, Grandpa. Grandpa? Uh, that's our, uh... Code name for you. Oh, ha, funny. Right, so can I just tell him now? Please. Hey, I'm gone with the game, man. I'm sorry. Call me. Right. Jeez. You know, I'll try to solve the option. I see. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. Hey, Carl. Blah 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 card, blah blah blah, yeah, you come here. Good thing about Hmm. Horrible news. But something I Right. Uh no. blah yeah, blah blah. Lose. Okay, lose the suit. Maybe I blah blah I blah. Know. Is it true? Cool. You ever got time? Okay. How about that? Um. About my plan. Nice. How about? How about Edna? It's a death here. Uh, I can't tell Did him that. Oh, great. Uh, what are you guys talking Did about? We start to like her again. No. Trying all the options here. Speaking of, lies no green yet. Yeah, the light. Yeah, not another test. Can do anything. Can do anything. Can I talk to Anna? I'm trying everything. Can I talk to you? Surely. It's like this. I'm in the sick magnet. My name is Mr. Hates me. I have a little black book. I talked to Trixie. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently, they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well. They said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. What have you got against Trixie? It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. What more qualifications do you want? Oh, these people are impossible. You are impossible. Uh, Little I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this since we already seen Emerson them. Rather when it makes me that's very well then. Get Trixie angry at Edna. Good. Can we do so? Finally, something new to do. Edna isn't very happy about Trixie's new job. Yeah, okay, we got that. Maybe it could be arranged to have Edna get Trixie fired. How? Hmm. Around here has worked with Trixie in the past. Who? Apart from, Mar uh, from, from Marty McFly. Talk to Q-Ball around about Trixie. Q-Ball? Where is he? Oh! He appeared right there! He wasn't there before! Hi! What are you doing here? You weren't here before? Hi! What's hey, up? Pal. Oh jeez, this guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Now, shouldn't you be in jail? Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. We'll be playing for Trixie later. Still talking to Kid, where are you hauling here? What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, robo that, dynamo the other. It's all Greek to me. Uh, still talking to Kid? Have you heard from Kid lately? 
We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. Really playing for Trixie later? Are you playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Because little Miss Goody Two Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. You seem angry about Trixie. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that'd curl your socks. Really? Like what? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just... Well, it just cheeses me off, you know? Hmm. What's so toe curling about Trixie's past? So what's so, uh, toe curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Like, uh, my mom came on to me. Well, under the influence of alcohol, my mom made a pass at me. Ooh. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Yeah, the greater good. Wow. Okay. What's with your teeth? Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, about your teeth. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing! I... I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't rat me out the Audi, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Sure, but what do we get those? You talk funny, mister. So we have the cakes now? Algae cakes. Yeah, it's a good thing these things never caught on. Okay. Hmm. So how about Edna? I'm showing the picture to Edna, let's see. Oh, she reacts. Trixie sure got some nice, uh, antlers. This is definitely something Edna wouldn't approve of. Exactly. Hey there, Edna. You might Check want this. to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir, Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once the winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You're firing me? I don't want to. Here, yeah, take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Let's talk. Indeed. Indeed, let's talk. Yeah, give Trixie everything she needs to make head not jealous. Hey there, Trixie. 
Trixie? I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed spitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but up... we gotta do it my way. Fine. Huh. I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Parlamaid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Yeah, something that looks like a diamond for Trixie performance. Yeah, that was that's kind of hard to find out. Then oh, maybe there's something here. Diamond shaped prism. Just I knew. Borrowing it. Good. I got that. Now. Okay. So. Hey, Trixie. Check this. Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Keep that up, and I may take a real shine to ya. I'd rather take a shine shine You're on Emma. Working on it. How about the furs in the photo album? I'll get them to you. Yeah, working. I'm working on it. Get some furs. I'll give you the photo album first. Hey, Trixie! Check this! I brought him its photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. Now bring me those furs, and we'll be in business. Hmm, okay. The fur, huh? It requires a phony diamond, some furs, and a baby picture of Emmett. Uh, there are some furs hidden in a so plain sight outside the high school, and I know where. But, once you found the furs, you'll need something to unstick them from their current location. The Emmett's cleaser, blah blah blah, okay, I knew that. The problem is, we're back to the beginning, to the first problem. We can't use the DeLorean. But maybe now we've done some stuff we will actually be able to. I don't know. Hey, Doc! Hey, Carl! I'm sorry. Call me. Ah, come on! What the hell am I supposed to do then? Can't do anything. Nope. No green. No green light. Get it back. Doc's trip age the form not enough to turn it to ash. Nope, nope. No green light yet. Yeah, but that doesn't work, does it? Does it? Because I need to age it a little bit more. I already sprayed him. Yeah, try to. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? Okay, I just had to do that. Oh, okay. Fine. Hey, Trixie. Check this. Hey, Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but uh, they'll work. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown. Red-headed guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long he won't. Great. So what about now? I don't ever think. A common parlor maid you see before you. But beneath this apron there beats the heart of a... Oh, hiya kid. You sure you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown. Not... Okay, so what about now? What about now? What about now? Is the DeLorean ready now? Do we have to take Emmett? Come on. Do we have to take Emmett with me? Nope. No green light yet. Let's go to the street. I don't know. Whoopie doopie. Emmett, Sonny, what? I'm at my wit's end. My portable anti-stick anti-stain formulas disappeared. Can't you make more? 
There's no time. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll turn up soon. Good. There's no way in God's green earth that I'm heading to that expo without it. Okay, let's... We cannot give it back, can we? Hey, I'll give you some cakes! Hey, Emmett. You need a snack? Desperately. What is it? Some sort of algae cake. It's supposed to be nutritious. Oh, I've heard of these. <clears throat> they better be really nutritious. Uh, that's just for making me in a bad response. They don't serve any purpose. How about a hint? Can't do that. Can't do that stupid game. And I can't return it to him yet, right? I'd better not return it yet. I might need it to clean something. If only this stuff was several hours older, I could use it to dissolve Emmett's suit. I wonder how Doc's doing with the DeLorean. Okay, let's go back there. Maybe now we'll be able to do so. Hey, the light's green. That Finally! Jesus Christ, that took long, hang on. Before I need I do anything, I need to put the, 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 the breaking spray bottle in. That took longer than I thought. But... Uh, still no idea what triggers the green light. Okay, Doc. It's time to go out on a test run. Your chronometer's gone green again. Excellent. Let's hope this time my test run is a success. I'm sorry to desert you again. Yes, well, you've left me with plenty to think about. Any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. What about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. Great! Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the Kroll process is perfected in nine years. Nine years? But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm storing it, then you can... Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh she's going. The lab! Ah! You better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean. <clears throat> Age to perfection. Hey, Emmett, I'm back. <clears throat> oh, my. You know, I thought you were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. No, oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to keep my mind fresh. Time's up, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Uh, step aside, ma'am. I need to do something. Hmm, I have something in the lab. Can I go into the lab for a bit? I think I left something in there. Sorry, but I'm afraid the lab is off limits until Emmett's finished tuning the mental alignment meter. But... No exceptions. I need to talk to Emmett. Can I talk to Emmett? It's kind of important. It'll have to wait until later. Emmett's got a lot to do before the expo opens. Isn't that right, darling? You know it, Schnookums. Schnookums? You can talk to him later. Carl Sagan wants Mr. to talk to Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? Uh... He just leaves him a speakeasy arsonist? Wants to talk about his escape from Kid Tannen. He wants to give you the scoop about his thrilling escape from Kid Tannen. That's yesterday's news. Our invention will be tomorrow's story. 
North Tokyo has a lead on the speakeasy arsonist? He says he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He does, does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story anymore. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. Will you be all right without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. He's so easily distracted. Don't I wish. Hey, Emmett! Check this! Hmm... There it is! I've been looking all over for my portable anti-stick anti-stain formula. Where'd you find it? Um, out by the trash? That's strange. I haven't been out there for hours. Oh well. Are you gonna spray your jacket? It's looking a little dusty. Not until it's really dirty. This cleanser doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, some of the ingredients grow on trees, but the rest are synthesized polycarbonate really detergent dirty? blends. I can do that. I'll wait until you're at the expo to show Edna what a suit-destroying slob you can be. Well, that's about it. It is? Yep. As soon as I get all this stuff loaded into the truck, I'll be ready for the expo. Wanna lend me a hand? Uh, how about I go tell Edna you're coming? I'll, uh, get her ready for you to pop the question. Good thinking. Go on ahead. I'll meet you there. I really hope this works. I hope that too. <clears throat> Even though I'm close to the end of the episode, I want to still go on a little bit more. I want to see how this ends. Doc! What's all the activity? What time it is? Where's Edna? Where's all the activity? It's all the hustle and bustle. It's almost time for the opening ceremony. Holy jeez, I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. What do you mean? Oh! Uh... You got Edna to call it off? You thought of an easier way? You thought of an easier way to break them up? Not exactly. You see... I've been mulling things over, and... Uh-oh. Uh, in the timeline you're from... The right timeline? Yes, yes. Uh, I've got a wife. Yes, I do. A great wife. Clara, and kids, and a dog, and a bitch in time train, and... And Edna? How does her story turn out? How does she end up? Oh, well, Edna ends up... Um... Uh... It's best not to know. You're not really supposed to know these things in advance. It's... It's bad luck. But you told me how my story turns out. Yeah, but... And it's not as if I'll be in a position to do anything about it once my younger counterpart's destiny has shifted. I imagine I'll be folded into the new timeline, and I'll probably lose all memory of the old one. Maybe. So tell me, just to satisfy my curiosity, What's going to become of Edna? Uh, do I really have to say the truth? Well, I guess I have to. To be honest, she ends up kind of... sad. Sad? She lives with some cats in a dinky little apartment, and she spends most of her time yelling out her window at people, and collecting newspapers, and living in the past. I see. Perhaps we've been going about this problem the wrong way. Do we really have to completely obliterate my timeline so we can restore yours? Doc? Maybe we could have the best of both worlds. I could be with Edna, but it could be a little bit, you know, more healthy. Can you hear yourself? Do, do you know what you're saying? Let me remind you. She told me about the police state. Yeah, she, tore, she tried to erase your brain. Doc, she tried to erase your brain. Oh, she was terrible. No argument. Horrible. Oh, but she started out with such pure intentions. So did Nero. I don't believe this. All I'm saying is, let's stop and take a breath. This elaborate plan to derail my younger self's love life is the short-term misery worth the long-term gain. Maybe we can find a third way. One where everybody wins. What do you think? Uh... Uh... 
No, it's okay. No, I can't. No. I'm sorry, Doc. I can't go along with what you're saying. You don't belong with Edna. So you're determined to break us up, in spite of my stated wishes. Basically, yeah. Then there's nothing left to say. Wait, where are you going? Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding me? Don't, 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 don't let him take the DeLorean. No, 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 if he's going back in time, he's gonna stop me from doing what I'm done. No! Why did you... Marty, why did you let him take the DeLorean? Now he's gonna go back in time and try to not make me do what I've just done all this episode. Gee, gee, fine. Alright, this is a good thing, this is a good time to end the episode, so next time on Back to the Future we're gonna go forward this and try to make Edna break up with Emmett. See you guys then.